Hey everyone, it's Miss Cashman. I've missed all of my St. Anthony Eagles so much during the past few weeks, so I'm really excited to launch my own YouTube channel and start posting lessons and projects online at Vincent, Henri, and Art with Miss C. That's right, Vincent, our classroom fish is here, and I wanna introduce Henri, my fish from home. We've got one fish, two fish, a red fish, and a blue fish, and me. Now, if you're ready to create and learn with me, I want you to show me Mona Lisa. I'll know that you're ready to begin when I see you sitting up straight and tall, eyes watching, ears listening, your mouth is a quiet smile, and your hands are folded neatly in your lap. Okay, great. Today, we're gonna to be learning about and creating a small, original, figurative sculpture. Now, remember, sculpture is with the element of art form. That means that it's three-dimensional, not flat like a picture or a photograph, but you can see it all the way around and from all sides. Before we create our own sculpture, let's look at some sculptures by artist Alberto Giacometti and Edgar Degas. Look at Giacometta's walking man sculpture. You can see he's got long skinny arms and long skinny legs and he's sort of faceless but we can tell that the man is walking by the way Giacometti has placed his legs. Now look at Edgar Degas' ballet dancer. She has her toes pointed, she's looking up, and I love the way he's added a little fluffy tutu to her outfit. All right, for this project, all we need is aluminum foil, just like you've got in your kitchen at home. To get started, you'll wanna pull out a nice big sheet of aluminum foil so that you have a nice big rectangle, okay? We're gonna be tearing our foil with our hands. We don't need any scissors or any tape or any glue. The first tear that we're gonna be making is at the bottom, here, in the middle of our rectangle. I want you to take your fingers and right in the middle make a small tear and then use your hands and continue tearing until you get almost to the middle, but stop before you get there. It's okay if your tear isn't exactly straight or if it's a little wonky. Now, since our sculpture is gonna be a figure of a person, what do you think these two shapes are going to be at the bottom here? If you said the legs, you're right. So now, let's go up to the top. We're gonna to be making two tears at the top. We're gonna to make one tear on this side, make a small tear, and then continue tearing with your hands a little. Remember, it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. And then another tear on the opposite side here, about the same, tearing with your hands, and stop. These pieces are going to turn into the arms and the head. Now, to begin creating our sculpture, we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna to start to scrunch our foil up. Remember to do this step slowly because you can always scrunch the foil smaller, but it's practically impossible to stretch the foil out if you squish it too much first. So let's take our hands and I'll start by scrunching one leg here gently. Then I can go to the opposite side and scrunch here, the other leg. Now I can start to gently and slowly scrunch the arms. And on this side, and the body's kind of being created in the middle there. And now for the head. And I can just scrunch the head gently and slowly. And I'm gonna pinch the head kind of at the bottom, creating a neck for my figure. There we go. Now I can sort of squish the body a little. I can kind of start to scrunch the arms a little bit more to make them more even. 
want to make sure that you're looking at your sculpture from all different sides. Remember, it's not flat like a painting or a photograph. It's got a top and a bottom, and we can see it from all of the different sides. Now I can scrunch his legs. Looks like one leg's a little bit longer than the other, but that's okay. You can always scrunch it up to match the other one. All right, we're almost done. Okay. To make sure that we can pose our figure and make him doing something, especially if he's going to be standing, we need to give him, that's right, feet. So make sure you take your fingers and kind of pinch and bend up his feet there at the bottom. You might even be able to bend them where he can stand up all by himself. Ta-da! There we go. Now you can take your sculpture and you can bend the arms and the legs and you can make him doing just about anything. Make him doing something active. It might be dancing or playing a sport or fighting a battle. You can even take small pieces of foil and add on accessories for your figure. Here's two that I created earlier and you can see I have a sweet little ballet dancer just like Degas. I have her arms over her head and her leg bent and she's standing on her tippy toes and I've got a cowboy here. I took an extra scrap and made a little hat for him and a lasso so he's ready to go roping and riding. If you have any cardboard around your house, maybe from an old cereal box or a package that you got in the mail, you can cut up the cardboard into scraps and you can use a hot glue gun. Make sure you get your parents' permission if you're using the hot glue gun. You can use just a dot of hot glue on the bottom of the feet to attach your sculptures to a base. That way they can be freestanding all on their own and ready for display. Remember, if you ever need me to slow down or if you need to watch something again on the video, all you have to do is pause and rewind. I'd love to see any of the foil creations that you make if you email me pictures to vincent.henri.andmissc at gmail.com. I'd love to see all of your creations or any of the art that you've been doing. And I can't wait to see all my eagles when we get back to school. Bye, everybody. Remember, there's no mistakes in art, only happy accidents. Have fun creating and I hope to see you soon.